Before we get into the next uh, bit of video, boy, and what a whale of a match we've got coming up from the Mid-South Coliseum, I want to remind you folks that next week we're going through a siege of two or three weeks, and then we'll be over with that of rescheduling of uh, championship wrestling, obviously on early today uh, by an hour, and, and next week we will be aired at 4 p.m. That will be the airtime for championship wrestling, 4 p.m. next week. Now, those of you who have tickets for next week's championship wrestling, we're going to tape it at our regular time. So as far as you're concerned, there will be no different than the usual uh, 11 o'clock start time. But next week, it will be aired starting at 4 o'clock uh, due to the Wimbledon tennis. So we wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, we started last week, we had a little rhubarb that took place, and boy, it was not so little, I can tell you that for a fact. Phil Hickerson came out here and kicked the stew out of Billy Travis. Now, that wasn't the end of it right then and there. They met in the Mid-South Coliseum. Here are some highlights of what took in that brawl. Let's take a look at it. Five minutes in. with that huge broad arm just pounding Billy. Oh, boy. Now he's trying to tear loose a section of the middle gate. Kicks the gate out of the way. And Travis slams Pickerson's head into the table. This is a tough kid. What a brawl. Hickerson and Travis. His face is a bloody mess. His nose, his right eye in particular. Hickerson is no picture of beauty. And a good right hand scored by Travis. At the eight minute mark, Travis swinging away on Hickerson and the referee trying to pull him out. Hickerson pulls the chain, bam, that's it. He nailed him, count of one, two, three, and Hickerson with a chain. 29 seconds beat Billy Travis. Well, here's Phil Hickerson, as you obviously can see. You found out it wasn't as easy as maybe you well, thought it was going to be. Everybody found out how big of an idiot that, that Travis is, you know what I mean? How can anybody go down there and go up against me and take the beating that he took? I told you I was going to beat him like a dog it is. Travis, let me tell you something. You know, your mama disowned you. You know, and your old dead man, you know, he was a coward too. You know, his, his old man's dead, and he was a coward. And so now, now his mama's gonna dis disown him. Believe me, nobody loves Billy Travis. I hate him. I hate him. I think he's an egg sucking dog. What you are, Travis? You are lying. You're no good. And here it is. You come back and you catch that beating I gave you. Beat you like a redheaded stepchild, boy. And then I come back and you go up there and you cry to the motors that you want to back out of the street. But can you believe that? Against me, you want, that, you want that kind of match with me. Brother, I ain't lost one of them in the world. And brother, when it gets right down to fighting, Jack, I love it. I get up in the morning ready to fight something. Mm, I can believe so that. So that shows you that kid is stupid. He went down there Monday night, I beat him like a dog, and here it is. He comes come back some more, and he wants that type of match, brother. That means, that means that I can do anything that I want to. Can you imagine? He was beat to death, and now I guess the matter of just packing cotton to him and just folding his hands over him. Yeah, you know well, I mean? you, you, noticed, you noticed that he was fighting back as he could in there. Oh, he's a spunky little kid. Yeah, that's he's right. He's a spunky little kid, but hey, you're talking to Phil Hickerson. He's rising Phil Hickerson, brother. And I'll do anything, anytime. To yeah, do anything. Well, you don't have to say it twice to convince me, Phil Hickerson, who is a... I ain't lost one of them matches again, brother, and I'll tell you, I've never lost one. And I, Billy Travis, I ain't starting with you, brother. I'm going to beat you like a dog, Jack. Well, I'm not so certain that it was advisable for, uh, for Billy to get into it, but he's involved in that back alley street ball with tough Phil Hickerson, 
And that is not all the action that's coming Memphis at the Mid-South Coliseum Monday night. Nine matches will be on the card. Prices will be regular prices starting at 8 o'clock. We got nine of them with lots of it. First match will be Alan West and Keith Robertson going in a single match. Then a tag match. It'll have uh, Memphis Vice together again going against Jack Hart and Tojo Yamamoto. And the quote singing cowboy Don Bass will be facing Big Tony Burton. That ought to be a good single. The Clones, you'll have a look at them uh, later today. It'll be the first time we've had a chance to see them. This tag team will be going against Mark Starr and John Paul. Then there's going to be a bounty match with Big Bubba facing uh, somebody that downtown Bruno has brought in, a mystery man trying to get the job done on Bubba when obviously Earthquake could not. Then the back alley street brawl. I don't think this is going to be all as one-sided as Phil Hickerson thinks it's going to be. Billy Travis will be showing up and doing a lot more than that. A Mid-America title match with Jeff Jarrett defending against the Moondog, who he took the title from. That's not all. Do you notice that line? Bruno hanging from the ceiling. And that will be interesting to see as the match gets underway. Moondog and Jeff Jarrett going at it for the Mid-America title. Then a tag match. It'll have The Rock and Bill Dundee going for the international tag titles held by Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka. Some kind of a scrap that'll be. And finally, we're going to have the opportunity to see a Southern heavyweight title match in which Jerry Lawler gets his desire to meet Brickhouse Brown one-on-one. -on -one. Lawler and Brickhouse to be in there in a single match, one-on-one -on -one for the Southern heavyweight title. Those are the nine matches, my friend, and it should be a whale of a night of action at the Mid-South Coliseum. We'll be looking forward to having you down there. 8 p.m. is the start time. Regular prices. Here comes Billy Travis. I want to get Bill out here to talk to him. Billy, I, I am not for a minute. You know I'm one of your biggest boosters. But, boy, what kind of a tough match you've got yourself into in this back alley street brawl with Phil Hickerson. You know, first of all, Lance, I always thought you were a man, Phil Hickerson. I didn't bring your family into it, so don't you bring mine. I love my parents. I don't know how you feel about yours. And so, you know, the street fight, you're supposed to be the king of the street fight. Well, let me tell you something. There's going to be two people that street fight. And Billy Travis, I don't know if I can beat you, but Tuesday morning, you're going to know you're going to be had a fight, brother. Well, I've never seen one that you've been in uh, that you haven't let them know that. Good luck to you in there, Bill. You better believe that young man will be scrapping hard. It'll be well worth the price of admission just to see that one. We're going to, uh, right now, take a look at some of the action around the territory. Catch Championship Wrestling on the road and headed to your hometown. Tonight, action in Jonesboro, Arkansas, American Legion Arena. Box office opens at 4. Two big title matches set tonight in Jonesboro. Sunday, July 5th, wrestling comes to Jackson, Tennessee, the Jackson Coliseum. It's a 4th of July weekend spectacular. Eight big matches, two title bouts, and a 10-man elimination tag match on the card. Advanced tickets to DWJ and supermarkets. Box office opens at 4. That's Sunday, the 5th in Jackson. Friday night, July 10th. Catch the matches in Ripley, Mississippi at the Ripley High School. Six big matches on the card, including two big title bouts. And Friday, July 31st, Championship Wrestling comes to the Lavender Coliseum in Columbus, Mississippi. Don't miss the exciting action live and in person. Championship Wrestling coming to your hometown. We'll see you at ringside.